back with the latest when you talk of showbiz and trust me today it's going to be different because um, I have some updates on VGMA Artist of the Year. I'm talking about Kitty. Some good news for you all. And of course, I have some updates on Stone Boy. I have Lyrical Joe. I mean, do you want me to go on? <laughs> this and many more right here on Let's Talk Showbiz. My name is Doreen Aviv. Don't go away. <laughs> If you're just joining me, this is Let's Talk Showbiz, and I am so excited. I mean, considering the fact that last Saturday, after Kiddy winning the Artist of the Year, looks like I have some good news to share with you. Now, he's been signed on to KFC as their brand ambassador. <laughs> Kiddy is a brand ambassador for KFC Ghana, and well, our cameras were there, so we captured everything that went on there. And also, Lyrical Joe won the best rap performance and for most of you you thought that maybe Amrado or you know some other artist should have won that category the young man says that he deserves that award so please don't even talk well let's take a look at how Kiddy did it and let's hear what Lyrical Joe also had to say oh, Go kill you with enjoyment, 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 enjoyment. Hey. I go kill you with, I go kill you with, I go kill you with, I go kill you with. Murder is a murder. If you touch my baby, then it's a murder. Touch my baby, then it's a murder. Oh, darling, you give me joy, joy, joy. Nobody did like you, my lover. You give me joy. Now this next song is an exclusive song from the Golden Boy album. Ladies and gentlemen, get it here. Without uh, so many words, on behalf of the executive director of the Mohinani Group, Mr. Ashok Mohinani, our business development director, Mr. Roshan Mohinani, our general manager, Mr. John Swanepoel, and the entire leadership team at KFC, would like to officially announce Mr. Dennis Nanadramina, aka Kidi, as the brand ambassador of KFC Ghana. <laughs> now, we would also like to thank all of you here for your support uh, in terms of helping the Kidi brand, and also like to also thank all consumers and everybody that has actually endeavor to also enter in here for our restaurant as far as KFC is concerned. All I have to say is thank you so much, you know, for the opportunity. Thank you to everybody who came through and thank you for the well wishes. Um, I look forward to amazing things to come, you know. It's crazy because when my team told me we we're going to be doing this, I was like, this is probably destiny because I love, I chew chicken, KFC chicken a lot. Like, it's crazy. So thank you so much. Like I said, more activities ahead, more growth for both brands for us, and we hope for the best for the future. Let's enjoy and eat more chicken. <laughs> this is a big, big honor. Um, you know, as a growing artist, like he said, to uh, have successful brands also want to, you know, work with you is a big prop to me and my team. It means we're doing something where we're moving towards the right direction. And for artists as well, growing your brand means having other big, big brands as well come together to work with you. So this means um, growth for us, me and my whole team, and we're grateful for this. The future is bright, more crispy chicken, 
more spicy chicken, more lime and chili, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so love, love to everybody who came out today. Let's just go out and spread the news that yes, enjoyment is our doorstep. So yeah, <laughs> open the door. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> love. You know you find past me, girl. I see my days. I swear I lie to the heavens, girl. You be my test. You be my weakness, and you know you make me crazy. Crazy. Your love is like a drug. Rapper of the year. People think you didn't deserve it. I mean, that's what they think. I also thought I deserved it like, uh, when I lost. But why? <laughs> 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 when you lost, people thought you deserved it. Yeah. And I when was, you won, people think you didn't deserve it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are even asking who you are. Who is mm. LJ? Answer mm. 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 LJ. Mm. Do you think you've built your walls enough? Yeah, I've done. I mean, your 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 ignorance cannot be my fault. Being what, uh, if you're telling me this, there was the, there's only one song in the in the cate- even in the category of the uh, best rap performance that it has views more than my song that won. Mm. There's only one song. Which song is that? Which will be sax. Okay. Aside that, the role is in cigar. Yeah. Aside that, none of them. So I don't know how you don't know. I mean, if you go to in, and, and, and it's best rap performance. So if that's what I do best, why not? I deserve it. All right, so congratulations to Kitty. And of course, congratulations once again to Lyrical Joe. Now let's move straight to Stone Boy, who wants to collaborate with the Ghana Revenue Authority so that they can actually educate his colleagues on paying their taxes. And also, Small God is one artist who is known for plugging most of his colleague artists to other brands. You know, he'll plug you here, maybe go to Nigeria, go to the UK, go to the US. But this time, he's actually decided to do something for himself. So he's put an album together, and trust me, most of his colleagues were there to support him. And well, as usual, our cameras were there, so have a shows yeah. when you perform do you are you taxed yeah some of the shows i play here they take away the tax from it and and up to now some of the shows have ref, cannot provide me the tax for me to also go and show the tax mm, the invoice the, the, the hair they're withholding tax for me to to go and uh, for me to to go and, and show so that's really at the come with the creative side now i think we will need more education and we need help. Like I'm saying, I'm available to offer my time and get to do business with the GRA to be able to help conscientize so that we can still structure how, because we are outside of the, the structure for the taxing level there, 0.0. So we need, because we, me, I can speak for myself. I know that tax has to be paid. But... Nothing, they come in like that, and eh? nothing. If you come and see the reality in that thing, you realize that even GRA will give us money to go and chop. The reality is that it goes 360 with all of us. But what I would really want to address is that some of the ones get too personal. 
it is some if it's an agenda then it's dangerous that let us pour sun in everybody's gallery then it goes 360 it affects all of us i don't know if my telling them to stop will will, will suffice but speaking as the beam nation president i know my fans are not ridiculous to be honest, they're not ridiculous. Like it's to- like total opposite. Now yeah, No, they speak from what is actually you know like my, if 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 you pick, I think if you pick ten of my hardcore fans, seven of them would actually be very constructive with the criticism, where they have it plain, mm-hmm. and maybe three of them will go overboard, like as in trying to go too hard, you know. So we all do get the trolls, but generally, I think we should. We should, we should understand that these things do affect people a lot. I mean, they are not things we are supposed to be used to. It's not natural to be used to insults. Mm. That people would say, you're an artist, you should be used to that. Come on. You know, you, 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 you're a human. So I just beg the community, the Twitter community especially, that think, you know the other ones that would come off of like, oh, Somebody said, yes, you see my, my trousers are the VGMA. Serious trousers yeah. they are put on. Those ones, it's, it's, it's nice. It's funny. It's, and if you're going to... Why? What did they say? Oh, yes, why? No, oh, they... And they saw... That we can't... can't. <laughs> so that's <laughs> a buy, you know. Also, I'm going to come and say, oh, see, oh, we say, oh, the overcatcher and the boss said, this was yes. <laughs> and I said, ah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, so... Ebinumusano, it's funny, it's interesting. And there are ones too that they would pick up on the reality and question and, and ask. But the, the ones that I, I chance upon the most are the misconstrued ones, which is, is really, it's really, it's really not good because those ones are just, it's too bitter, you know. Like a king, I live for them, I live for them, I live 
If you're here for small dog, let me hear you say about ten. The beats, the big beats, the people are going out to my life, you feel crazy. To Miss V, to all the friends and family members from Abonteng that are in the building today, what do you guys? The previous works that you put out, um, everybody's here, we all want to know how successful were they? Um, which of the projects really took you by surprise with regards to the response you have from the people? I know some people have to drop, we had too much. Um, people also drop it. Um, so, of course, the convenience of where else and then go to Gaia. Yo. People don't know you, I mean, share the mic, all right. No. Well, the song that you have on there, which one was the toughest to record in terms of grabbing the artists in the studio, putting together the sound, all that? You're covering it this time. I think it was um, the one with um, TZ, Lonzo Amari, and the rest of the small artists, so was more work, you know. I don't know why you like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the day I look at us. 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 It didn't give me a I mean, uh, was, was more good, more good, more good. Yeah, it was, it was relatively easy, and yeah, more easy there as well, so. I think for the beat, um, less than 30 minutes to make the beat. Hey, you're up. Hey, hey, for real, for real. Wait, for the beat, yeah? Oh, for the beat, for the beat. Okay. And this man he treats me like I'm his daughter, so you know he's a hey, come to the studio and I was there. I think you are the only yeah. one who's been honest. <laughs> the hey bit. Yeah, mm. he's folded me and I go to the studio. But he's vibes, vibes, and he's really hard working, so this album is all right so that was stone boy and hopefully his colleagues will listen to him and then they will start paying their taxes and also congratulations to small god of course he's doing something amazing for himself it doesn't mean he will not plug our artists though he will still do it. But of course, that will be it for Let's Talk Showbiz. Today's edition, a very big thank you to you, Ike and Seth. Of course, my name is Doreen Avio. Remember to log on to myjoonline.com, the entertainment page for more of our stories. On Twitter and Facebook is Doreen Avio. And on Instagram is Doreen underscore Avio. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>